the secret sauce. One that was really orange, see him? Looking at it. Dude, that's a big brown bro. We've driven a long ways in our fancy camper here. I'm all excited to get dinner ready and I just got my stupid glasses on. But we get here and the fish are rising, so camping food can wait. <laughs> We just pulled up, rigged up. First fish I spotted came right up and ate the ant. Nice tiger. Ooh, off to be caught another day. Let's go get another. Too much chop and you can't see him, huh? Yeah, these fish, it's like they've done this before. So I've got this MPX line, which is great for bigger dries, but it kind of overpowers my little midge. But at this point it doesn't matter because I real oh, there I, I can see the fly now. Tossing a, an Orvis H3 or blackout. Nine and a half foot five, which is a dry fly hucking machine. It's weird. I mean the fish, when we pulled up, they were sipping like crazy. First few casts, fish on, had a couple hits, fish on, and now it's just kind of died out. Okay, I'm going to go back there. Less chop. Where are you going to go? I'm just going to go back where I was. I, I think it's the chop because the fish are rising down there. Come on, fish, you gotta be right there somewhere. You just rose. Oh! <laughs> I just gave up on him. I twitched it once to get tight and he ate it. Dang it. I literally just given up on him. I was ready to recast just a little further. And then he decided to eat it. Fish on, it's what it was, it was the chop. Couldn't see them rising, maybe they weren't. Feels bigger than the last one, unless he's wrapped in a bunch of moss, which looks like it could be the case. No cutty. Yeah, so they're just kind of rising along that chop line. All right, well, another one on the ant. He got tangled a little bit in the moss. Well, that's a nice little cut throat. He's huge. Same here, a real, a real lunker over here. I hate to break it to this fish, but he's barely worth drying off my fly for. <laughs> my thought exactly. It's fat. Fat little cutty, that'll work. Another one, another little guy. I think the big guys went to bed and the little guys come up and they're taking advantage. There's one, medium sized dry fly anteater. Oh, better than I thought actually. Not done yet. It's no net, no waders, no problem. Come here buddy. Beautiful cut, big fins. Oh yeah. Heading back for another day. Oh wait. Faked you out. Thought he was gonna be tough to go back, but he wasn't. 
There's one that rose right there. Small guy. He's almost not worth netting. Just another small guy. There you go. We uh, are getting darked out here. And the fish are still eating, but I'm getting hungry. We need to go find a place to park the camper and set up dinner and get our beds ready for a party. Anyway, we're going to come back tomorrow. Oh, look at that. October caddis. If you ever want to know what's hatching on the lake, just uh, camp right next to the lake and let Brigham leave the door open the whole time. <laughs> the next thing you know, there's October caddis and little green midges flying everywhere. Thankfully, there's no mosquitoes. But we got chicken fried rice. Ooh -wee. It's getting serious. I threw you under the bus there even though you weren't at fault, Brig. Thanks. No problem. That's chicken. Break them frozen, please? Yeah. Frozen? When we camp, we rough it. This is not gourmet. This is roughing it. Now I have to follow instructions on the bag I just threw away. Add one tablespoon of vegetable oil and meal to skillet. Cover and cook four minutes. Uncover and continue cooking four to six minutes, stirring occasionally. Check that food is cooked thoroughly to 165. Careful it's hot. Serve and enjoy. Well, we'll enjoy. Look at that. From scratch. Fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> this is a P.F. Chang copycat recipe that I bought at the grocery store in a bag that was frozen. What you think? Pretty good, Brig. Pretty good? Pretty good, Brig. I have to say Brig after everything. Right? I know. Pretty good, Brig. I have a question for you, Brig. Okay, Lance. What are these green things called? This is Idaho vocabulary. Starts with an E. Edamame? There you go. Nice. I mean, I had to hand feed it to you, but you well, got it. My mom would be so proud of me speaking with my mouthful. Had tie. From scratch. What again? Out of the bag. Bag scratch. Because of the less, less amount. Perfect. All right, we are out in the morning now. Got up, it was pretty windy. So I decided to throw the Sage R8 10 foot six weight. A little bit more backbone and help with the wind. I have a Scientific Angler's Amplitude textured line MPX. Throwing big bugs. Big wind. Although the wind died down, we've seen a couple fish tailing, like right close to there. A little bit of a front came in last night, cooled down, and also it's one day away from a full moon. So fish can put on the feed bag. They're here. We'll get them. All right, name of the game here is if you can't spot them, you Spray a few casts, look for the risers, and move on. We could be in our float tubes, the new traditional still water stuff, but today is primarily dry flies because it's a lot more fun. Anyway, moving. I'm gonna hit a shelf. That's where it drops off from a shelf down into a deeper trough. Lots of fish in there usually. If they're looking up, we might catch one. If you look way, way down there, there's a little speck in the screen. That's Lance. He's fighting fish. If you're lucky, Brig will overlay some drone footage. I've heard quite a few people talk about coming here and just walking around the edges and just seeing cruisers all over. I've just never experienced that here. That's going to be a long hook set. Should I be so lucky? 
So I just put on a larger dry, see if I can entice a strike. Caught one fish earlier on a purple bionic. Had a few eat, or sorry, not eat, had a few look at a hopper, but not eat it. And now I've got a big purple chubby Chernobyl on, maybe in a size six with a little chronomid Frenchy dropper that a fish just ate the dropper. <laughs> Gotta quit talking to the camera. secret sauce. I even went with 5x thinking it's clear water they're gonna be fussy. One that was really orange yeah. he came up and ate my dropper. I'm gonna rest them for a minute and cover oh see if I can keep from falling off this log cover over here. Oh look mm. thought about it. He thought about it. Huh? Chronomid Frenchy that's a uh, uh, glass bead so it doesn't hit so hard. See him? Looking at it. This fish swam up and looked at the dropper as it was falling. Nice tiger. Well, they were being a little fussy on the dry, so we had to put on a dropper, but a fish on a dropper is better than no fish. Let's see. They're not many, but they're beautiful. Nice tiger, a little chronomid dropper. And now we hope for more. fish. Okay, we found a little pot of fish. Nice tiger. They're being fussy. They're laid up. There's not a lot hatching, not much going on, but if you can hang a little chronomid or something small, a little nymph right in their face long enough, we're getting one here and there. Best brook we've caught here. That's definitely the biggest brook you ever caught here. <laughs> oh, that's a, dang, nice fish though. That was a good one. We don't mind the brookies. Splashed me a little bit. Good luck landing that fish with no net.
Oh, I forgot mine over there. Not too shabby. Not too bad. Baby fat minnow. Is that one of Cheech's patterns? Who? <laughs> seen a cup that looks like this. It's got like sores all over it or Whoa. something. I thought it was a brown at first. Like I don't think there's browns in here, but... Is that not the weirdest cut you've ever seen? Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> I probably just marked from steroids. Roids? Yeah. What have you been feeding them, man? Chronomids. Get the guy in a chronomid? I did. Red and black. Your top fly break off? No, I was switching it and then he came swimming by. So oh, I, so you cast so it I out? cast out there. <clears throat> nice. Cool little brookie. Huge. We come all this way for these huge brookies. For this one. Don't be jealous. <clears throat> it's a good thing I forgot my net over Right in the snout. Orange bead chronomid. You wanna kiss him? Nice. That's oh, sweet. All right, well, we've had a fun couple of days of camping, eating, fishing, and I finally didn't lose one. So if this one will hold still for just a second, which it won't. So we're gonna end on a hatchery mutant. What a beauty, huh? Almost has life-size fins. Look at those things. Almost, almost. Adios, hatchery mutant. Not as cool as the brookie, not as cool as the cuts, not as cool as the tiger, but a fish nonetheless.